Sarah, you look dazzling today. Tell me, what are you wearing tonight? And tell me about this little purse. I mean, the bag's amazing, right? Oscar de la Renta and uh, a little Louboutin shoe. You look fantastic. You've been in this game. You've seen this. You've been there, done that. But is there anybody you're looking forward to seeing tonight or are you going to fan out over? Who am I going to fan out? I mean, look, I always love... Actually, you know what? It was Laverne Cox tonight, actually. I have wanted to meet Laverne for so long. I'm such a fan. She's so stunning. She's so beautiful. I would say that was my moment tonight. La Laverne. Laverne. Okay. Now listen, we interviewed Freddie Prince Jr. We interviewed your boo. Yes, and I, we, I've heard of that man. Right, right. <laughs> now it's going on 25 years, but I know what you did last summer. Now tell me, when you first saw him, because we asked him this question, but for you, was it love at first sight when you first saw him? No. Oh. <laughs> he said the same thing. I'm totally, we were friends for years and years. Yeah. Now, Sarah, I got another question for you. What do you remember about that time 25 years ago? And can you believe that it's been 25 years since I knew you did last summer? I actually can't. I was just saying, I haven't seen the movie since it premiered all those years ago. But my husband has a podcast coming out sort of talking about iconic horror films. And so he was re-watching it the other day just to sort of get ideas. And, and I, I barely remember. I kept asking all these questions. And he kept saying to me, how are you asking these questions? You were there when they filmed it. It's like, <laughs> I mean, I think I was, but. I want to ask you this question, too. Now, Brendan Fraser, the whale. Come on now. Can you, how proud of you of his career and where things are going for him right now? There is no words that I can put into the gift that is his performance. And for anyone that is lucky enough to see that performance and receive that gift, you are a better human being for seeing it. I was, I've always known that he is one of, if not the most talented of that generation. This blew my mind. I honestly, everyone please go see this movie. If you do one thing this holiday season, see this movie. He's been getting a crazy standing ovation. Like every time they screen the film, people are like applauding for like 12, 15 minutes. It's just amazing what things have turned around for him, you know? You know, I guess turned around, but just go back to any of his performances. It doesn't matter what the movie is. He's amazing. And he's also one of the kindest human beings that I've ever had the pleasure to call a friend. Awesome. Great for now. Now, last question. Christmas is around the corner. What are we doing in the house? So are the kids like making a list of the gifts that they want? My daughter sent her list in like months ago. I'm still waiting on my sons. He's still trying to figure it out. <laughs> you, you think he wants like a toy? Is he trying to get like, like techie? Or something? Well, he said he wanted my friend's Porsche tonight. That was high on his list. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. So even if you're watching this, Rocky, I'll tell you right now, Santa not bringing you a Porsche. <laughs>